In the heartland of the new American dream, Facebook, once a university dorm startup, is now a giant, exerting political power across the globe. Part of my responsibility today would be to help protect the integrity of elections against interference by other governments. So you won't take down lies or you will take down lies? Okay. I believe that people should be able to see for themselves for So you won't take them down? Power. Facebook thinks that it is a sovereign nation. For Sophie Jong, getting a job as a data analyst at Facebook meant she'd arrived. Working for a large tech corporation, it's, it, it has a bit of a status symbol associated with it. It's prestige and it says that you've made it, that you're good, you were good enough. But after two and a half years at Facebook, Sophie Zhang was fired. The social network says it was for performance. She says it was for speaking out. I thought that it was important to essentially give Facebook one last chance to fix the situation because that's what I've been doing from this entire start. Sophie says that while working there, she noticed political parties across 25 countries had been manipulating Facebook to mislead and in some cases harass its own citizens. One of the worst examples of this was in the former Soviet nation of Azerbaijan. What I found was, was extraordinarily concerning to me because of how bad it was and the sheer amount of effort that had been put into running this. And so in Azerbaijan, what we were seeing were perhaps thousands of people paid by the Azari government. They were laser focused on Van Ten, and that was writing comments about why the opposition was terrible and why the Azari government was great. The Azerbaijani president, Ilham Aliyev, is widely accused of multiple human rights abuses. But in 2019, Ms. Zhang discovered that in a 90-day period, 2.1 million fake accounts had been created to not just like the president's content, but to harass the opposition and even legitimate news sites. Sophie Zhang took her concerns to Facebook management. The activity I found wasn't even that hard to find. It was very simple. I wasn't a brilliant genius or anything. I've met brilliant geniuses and I'm not one of them. But rather, it, what I found was ex extraordinarily long-hanging fruit. That was there simply because no one had bothered to go out and look for it. A year earlier, she had spotted similar activity in Honduras from supporters of autocratic president Juan Carlos Hernandez. It was that they were using large numbers of of, of pages to pretend to be real people. Honduras was really on the cutting edge of bad, act, bad social media at the time. In a month and a half, Mr. Hernandez's post received almost 60,000 likes. Almost four out of five of them weren't real. There's nothing stopping you from creating pages for people who do not exist and setting up pages that pretend to be people because one person can quite easily use a single account and so I could set up a page for, say, Jane Smith, and, and they would have a picture that might be a Jane Smith, and maybe, I would call, and maybe I would label the page a coffee shop, because that's something that the page could be reasonably expected to have, even though Jane Smith, quite obviously, is not a coffee shop. Sophie continually raised these issues with management, but says nothing was done. She's confident her persistence led to her dismissal. After she was let go, Sophie wrote an 8,000 word memo, which she sent to colleagues. What I found constantly was that everyone agreed that it was terrible, but no one agreed that it was their problem. Facebook said in a statement, we fundamentally disagree with Ms. Young's characterization of our priorities and efforts to root out abuse on our platform. We aggressively go after abuse around the world and have specialized teams focused on this work. Sophie Zhang is still unemployed, but like many who've left Silicon Valley, she's determined to see Facebook held to account. The current situation is not working, that Facebook is failing its responsibility to democracy, to society. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.